Hello friends and family, my name is Brooke and welcome back to my art channel. In today's video, we're actually going to be starting a new art series. So I picked up this sketchbook quite a while ago. It's called My Life in Sketches and basically what it is, is it's 365 sketch prompts to reflect everything about your life every day. So it has all these different prompts that are very kind of personal and interesting, things that I never would have been able to come up with on my own. So I thought it would be really fun to start a new series where I just go through this book and I do as many prompts as I can. Let me know what you guys think. And with that, let's get into that first prompt. I could not have chosen a better day to start this drawing series because as you can see, the first art prompt is your breakfast today. Normally, I don't even eat breakfast. I'm either groggily waking up in the morning for work, rushing out the door, or on the weekends, oh. I'm sleeping past what I would consider breakfast time. I also don't like many breakfast food options. I'm more of a savory person and would opt for cold pizza for breakfast rather than pancakes or muffins any day. Today, however, I woke up early to get ready for a bridal shower that I was going to with my mom and my sister, and my dad had made breakfast, so I did get to eat some bacon and scrambled eggs that he'd made for us. I added a little cracked eggshell behind the scrambled eggs so you could kind of guess what they were instead of just like lumps. I also gave the food little faces to make it more cute and interesting. While I was at the bridal shower, I also had a delicious hash brown. It was steaming and crispy, and those are heat marks, not stink fumes, although I draw them the same way. I also had a cheeky mimosa because, hello, it was a bridal shower. And that finishes up the first art prompt. So then I jumped right into the next one. I have a feeling that I'm really going to like this art series because I'm focusing on loose sketches done in my traditional art style. Basically, I'm just doodling whatever I come up with off the top of my head. And my favorite part of the drawing process is the sketching phase. In fact, it's the only step I really thoroughly enjoy the entire process of. The pages of this prompt book were too thin for paint or markers, and I'm not really a crown or colored pencil gal. So I decided that the sketchy style would work best for this series, and honestly, I couldn't love it more. Making this video was so stress-free and fun, so I hope you guys like these videos as I'd love to continue this series far into the future. Since I've been rambling, I guess I should catch you up on the actual art. The second drawing prompt was your favorite park, and of course mine is Jurassic Park. Ignore the fact that I spelled it wrong at first. And no, the anatomy of this dinosaur is not historically accurate. <laughs> I have always loved dinosaurs ever since I was a little girl. I grew up watching Jurassic Park with my dad and my twin sister. And I'm not talking about the cruddy remake, although I seriously love Chris Pratt. I, I mean, the originals will always be the best, at least in my mind. I didn't just want to draw the Jurassic Park logo, so I decided to do it in my own style. I also added elements of a theme park because I've been to and I love SeaWorld and Disney and yes, even Universal Studios where they have an actual Jurassic Park exhibit, although I was too scared to ride the ride when I was 12. To be real, if there was an actual Jurassic Park, I would want to go so bad, but at the same time, I would probably poop my pants as soon as I walked up to the gates. I don't know how I can be so fascinated and so terrified of something at the same time. Like, even just looking up a picture of a dinosaur online spikes my blood pressure and almost gives me a heart attack. I think I have a weird phobia of dinosaur photos, and yet somehow the Jurassic Park movies don't bother me at all. It's weird. And so is this art piece, but I really hope you enjoyed it. You can see I added some minute details, including a reference to one of my favorite prehistoric sea monsters, the Mosasaur. Did you know that they found sea monsters buried in Kansas? I also gave my little T-Rex a plushy stegosaurus with an ominous rip, possibly due to a hungry chomp. I think he just turned out really cute and fun. I think I'll name him Gold Bloom. If you know, you know. So I decided for this video I wanted to do three drawing prompts since I'm keeping them black and white and simple. And the next prompt takes up an entire page. So it's gotta be a big one. The prompt is something you're looking forward to this weekend. And it just so happens that at the time I was filming this, it was the day before Easter. So of course I had to draw something Eastery. Easter is one of my favorite holidays. Not only do I love pastel colors, 
but also I am a Christian and I think it's such an uplifting time of the year. Spring is starting, that seasonal depression is kind of clearing its way out, and as a person who suffers from anxiety and depression, to think that Earth's saddest day and gladdest day were only three days apart is very comforting. After all, Jesus was crucified on the cross. I mean, imagine his mother Mary mourning sufferably, who was betrayed by his own people, by his own disciples, the complete hopelessness of his followers. And then just a short time later, Jesus would rise from the dead and change life forever, all in the name of forgiveness. I mean, thank God, am I right? It just grounds me and lets me know that there is hope, that life is meant to be full of ups and downs. It all has meaning and we all have a purpose, and love and kindness triumphs all. Even if you are not Christian, I encourage you to read the Bible for the sheer story. It can definitely be tough to read some parts. It has lots of ups and downs. It has absolutely perilous events that are shocking and terrifying, but it also sparks the most breathtaking emotions. And at first you might think, wow, this is really out there, but you'll notice that there's so much rooted into it. It really clarifies morals and goodness and why the world is unable to be perfect right now. I feel like once you read the Bible and experience those stories with your heart, your mindset will be changed forever, regardless of if you're a believer or not. It really is incredible. Now, my doodle has absolutely nothing to do with any of that. I actually drew a rabbit stealing an egg from a chicken, specifically one of my silky chickens, which if you've seen my other art videos, you will have met before. You can see me really struggling with the chicken's arms. I was gonna make him crossed like she was angry, but I was like, it just didn't look right and it wasn't cute. So I wound up erasing them and retrying them and erasing them again, and ultimately just putting them down to the sides, which was a lot cuter. <laughs> Art is a lot of trial and error, and usually I don't use my eraser that much, but I did for this video because I wanted it to look really nice for you guys. This drawing is simple, but it's cute and funny. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you'd like me to return to this My Life in Sketches prompt book. As always, please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe so you're updated every time that I post a new video. I try to post new videos every Sunday. I want to thank you all so much for your support. God bless, and I'll see you in the next art video. Bye!